Are you a thrill seeker? Do you want to feel the adrenaline rush? Well, this episode is perfect for you. A way to seek thrill is through various amusement rides you are sure to enjoy. Welcome to The Bestus, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. In today's episode, we'll discuss these heart-stopping amusement rides you're bound to enjoy. Before we start, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of our videos. We all know that The Bestus can serve you a platter filled with everything you have to find out. Amusement parks are more than just for your amusement. These are also more than just a way for you to spend time with your friends and family. However, most people enjoy the adrenaline rush they get from these amusement rides. And nothing beats the lineup of rides you're likely to try once you finish this episode. At number one, we have the Sky Roller. This is designed by German ride maker Gerslauer. Since the 40s, manufacturers have looked for ways to ensure that rides are more interactive. The Sky Roller is indeed a fine example of how far the amusement industry has progressed and advanced. It has a swing-type contraption that allows riders to control the number of barrel rolls they do just by manipulating the positioning of the wings as they spin around. A former design manager at Walt Disney Imagineering was also part of this amusement park. However, an engineering consultant has mentioned that they have subjected riders to high Gs for a sustained period. Then he points out that this amusement ride is self-limiting in many ways. This makes us think that there is something more to this ride than just a pretty intense face. Remember guys, that was just number one. Be prepared to scream and feel your stomach go topsy-turvy. Since these are rides you can surely add to your bucket list, so stay until the end of this episode. At number 2, we have Insanity the Ride. Another amusement ride located on top of Vegas' stratosphere is the Insanity the Ride. This amusement ride lives up to its name by dangling passengers 65 feet over the edge of the building. Its giant inverted centrifuge can apply as much as 3 Gs to riders as it spins and speeds up to 40 miles per hour. However, attaching a giant mechanical arm to a skyscraper is no easy task. Insanity, the ride has riders on an outward facing position and is then tilted at a 70 degree angle. This makes for some of the best and most frightening views anywhere in Sin City. At number 3, we have the Giant Discovery. It's a spin and swing ride that hits nearly 70 miles per hour. The Giant Discovery is large enough to accommodate 40 people per session. Aside from that, its pendulum-like motion subjects riders to both Gs and negative Gs as it takes them 150 feet into the sky and drops them back down. The mechanical stresses that rides like Giant Discovery produce are particularly grueling and require constant oversight. Surely it's a ride that most thrill seekers want to go explore and discover. At number 4, we have the Flying Fury. It is an amusement ride that's considered as one of the most interactive rides on the market. This massive machine has a joystick that gives riders control of the four passenger miniature planes. Aside from that, the joystick also allows them to pull barrel rolls and rotate 360 degrees. All of this while their arms are lifted to heights in excess of 120 feet. But what makes this ride very interesting is its autopilot setting. This setting will allow riders to sacrifice control of the aircraft for higher speeds at approximately 15 RPM while the interactive setting slows things down to about 7 RPM. The Flying Fury sure makes you feel like you're playing a game rather than just enjoying a ride. So if you're into games and more amusement, then the Flying Fury is definitely for you. At number 5, we have the Wild Gorge Swing. This amusement ride is a part of the Wild Five. It is a South Africa-based adventure company that has managed to build its business by finding ways to extract adrenaline rushes from the natural environment. The ride is located on top of Lairs Falls within South Africa's Oribi Gorge Nature Reserve. 
Riders then strap into a harness. Later on, they're plunged off the top of the gorge. This is equivalent to jumping from a 33-story building. Some people who made the jump say that the top speed comes in at 70 miles per hour. The entire experience lasts over 25 seconds. This means it's 25 seconds of screaming fun. And now we know you're itching to know what other amusement parks you can surely enjoy, so let's continue with the other half of our episode. Damn! At number six, we have the Schweeb. We all know that the New Zealand based AgriVentures is home to a wide array of unique rides. Another one. Another one. However, the Schweeb stands out because of its eco-friendly approach to getting riders' adrenaline pumping. Riders climb into translucent, pedal-powered tubes that hang from a monorail. And then they face off in head-to-head -head races or compete against the clock. But there's more. The 2,000-foot long course snakes through scenic farmland. It can also be powered through in less than a minute. So if you're up for an exciting weekend, then suit up for an adventure of your life. At number seven, we have the zipper. Those who have become regulars at carnivals in the past 40 years surely have been on this amusement ride. This is where a dozen two-person cages are simultaneously pulled around an oval boom. And then riders that need more thrill could also choose to rock the cages during standstills. However, this amusement ride, the Zipper, has a reputation for being rough on riders. It has received multiple accidents and lawsuits, too. Back in 1977, the Consumer Product Safety Commission issued a warning once the Zipper had four deaths and two serious injuries. This was what happened when the doors of the cages unexpectedly opened mid-ride. That's surely a scary experience. Until now, it continues to scare thrill-seekers everywhere. At number 8, we have nothing but net. This is just about the simplest amusement ride concept that ever existed. It just takes riders a hundred and feet up, drops them into a suspended net. The amusement ride is often referred to as a SCAD tower. This particular version of the ride is found at the Zero Gravity Thrill Amusement Park in Dallas. If you think this is too intense, don't worry. There is a specially designed harness that's meant to guarantee that riders land on their backs. But their engineer and consultant, who is wary of these types of amusement rides, often said that precautions are necessary. Well, safety first, right? At number 9, we have the Spin Dizzy. This is a part of Diggerland, which is a UK-based chain of theme parks. It transforms used construction equipment into rides. This is truly an odd concept. However, the chain is actually a subsidiary of HE Services, which is one of the United Kingdom's largest excavating companies. Riders can expect to ride and operate dump trucks, loaders, and excavators at Diggerland. And the Spin Dizzy is more than just a tracked excavator. It's been modified to a point where the bucket has been retrofitted to sit eight passengers. Now that you've made it so far into this list, we know you're excited to check these rides off your bucket list. But patience is key. And now that we're nearing the end of our episode, a reminder to like and subscribe wouldn't hurt. So are you excited to know what's the last thing you should be adding to your bucket list? Well, here it goes. At number 10, we have the x screen. It is essentially a teeter-totter for adrenaline junkies. This amusement tilts riders 27 feet off the edge of the stratosphere Las Vegas. Extreme is a ride that takes advantage of a built environment to create new thrills. The engineer and consultant explains how the ride uses a relatively low-tech magnetic braking system. This was based around a copper blade, which is still attached to the bottom of the car. However, this isn't really located at a theme park. It's dangling from the top of the Stratosphere Hotel in Las Vegas. This makes it one of the five highest situated thrill rides in the entire world. Riders looking over the side see an 866-foot drop. However, 
Is it really a gamble you'd like to take? We all know it's fun in games until it's no longer just for fun. Rides are scary, that's for sure. But make sure your safety is a priority. Then again, it's not always a bad idea to let loose once in a while. So which one of these rides are definitely number one on your bucket list? Let us know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe to The Bestest and hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Bestest video.